Alex Perlman here with head coach Tom Collin. We're previewing Western Michigan now as Arkansas plays its sixth basketball game of the season. Coach, a big 78-44 to win over Missouri State on Friday. What, what did you learn about the team and, and seeing a little bit of a different look than we saw against Middle Tennessee? Well, I, I figured out that if they'll just slow down and they'll execute, that they'll get to good shots. And I think it was the, the highest shooting percentage we've had uh, for the season so far. It wasn't necessarily the highest scoring game, but I thought, you know, when we settled down and we executed, I thought we did a good job. We got a lot of different looks in the game. That's always good for us. We learn how to play uh, against a couple of different types of defenses. So uh, I, I think we probably got a little bit better tonight. We saw a zone look that, that your team had a lot of trouble with at the beginning of the game. A big, about five-minute scoring drought. Then you finally solved it. What what was different for you, and why do you think they struggled in the first place? Well, we haven't seen a lot of zone yet. You know, we saw zone in the first game, and we shot the ball so well from the three-point line. I think people are a little afraid to play zone against us, but you know, they came out and did it out of desperation. I think because we were we were doing a good job against their man, and it was like we were shocked, and we we were a little quick triggered. You know, we we threw up some threes maybe that were a little rushed. And uh, I think that's what frustrated us. Went through six minutes, I think, and didn't score. But uh, once we, we figured out what we were supposed to be doing against the zone, uh, then we got uh, a little bit better shot selection. And then uh, second half, it was just more of the same, I think. What are we going to see today against Western Michigan? What kind of things do they bring to the table? Well, they're going to be another small team, you know, and, and probably a dribble drive team. Uh, they're going to try to attack us off the bounce. Um, I, I think the good thing for us is, is it's, it's an easy scout from that perspective, which is good because we only have a one-day turnaround. We've got, uh, we got to be back in here at 10 o'clock in the morning uh, in order to be able to get ready. So that's, that's really a quick turnaround for a practice. So uh, we've had good success against that so far. Uh, they got us a little bit off the drive tonight, a little bit off the side ball screen. But, uh, you know, I, I think it'll be an easy prep for us. It's just a matter of whether we come out and we focused and we're not fatigued and we come out with a lot of energy one more time. What kind of challenges does two games in three days pose for a basketball team? Well, I think it challenges your depth. Uh, you know, I, I think it challenges uh, your psyche a little bit. I mean, this is going to be, I think, our fifth game in 12 days. Uh, so we really haven't, uh, we haven't had a day off for a long time. So I think when fatigue sets in a little bit, you got to be psychologically tough in order to battle through it. And so one of the things we'll find out, I think, on Sunday is like who who wants to play and who's who's tired, you know. And and, and you got to find a way to, to fight through that. I, I fatigue. There's no doubt that it's physical sometimes, but sometimes I think you get it in your head. You're tired and you can't go, and then you can't go. So uh, we're gonna have to build some some mental toughness, I think, for Sunday's game. Well, Thanksgiving and the day after, I mean, we're basically going to have two games in two days, so you're going to have to worry about that right. as well. So, so this is something that will be good for the team, I certainly think. So, Tom, thank you so much for the time, and best right. of luck today against Western Michigan. Good deal. Thanks. All right. For Tom Collin, I'm Alex Perlman for Razor Vision.